Hello and welcome to PhotoX. Uh, this video is going to be an unboxing of the Nikkor 16 35 f4 VR. Just received this lens. Um, I'm a bit behind the times, it's quite old now. Um, it was released in about 2010. Anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. As you can see, you've got the usual gold Nikon box. And inside we have another box which presumably is the case and the instruction manual it's the case never actually used one of those they always go back in the box where they came from and the lens hood HB23 I will be using that. Let me go back in there. And we have the warranty card and some other random things. Nikon seem to like changing their box designs. This time we have polystyrene. And here's the lens in another bag. And there it is. This is the first time I've actually held one of these lenses. It's quite big. It's not too heavy. It's um, certainly smaller than the 24 to 70. The uh, zoom ring is fairly smooth. Not too bad. <laughs> the focus ring. That's all the travel there is in it. That's what you get with um, ultra wide lenses. This lens is actually second hand, hence all the dust. But it's still in good condition. As you know, this lens has VR, which a lot of people say on something this wide is pointless. But I don't think so. I think it's going to be good for inside churches at night. Handhold. Perfect. Just to demonstrate, here is the D700 with a 24 to 70. Put it at 50 so it's at the shortest. And you can see roughly how big this lens is. It's certainly a lot lighter than the 24 to 70. I don't have the back cap at the moment. They're not too bad sized. When you zoom to 24, obviously the 24 to 70 extends quite a bit. But there's definitely a lot more weight in this than there is in that. So let's mount it on the D700. See what it looks like, see how it feels. That's quite nice actually. It's it's nicely balanced, not too heavy. As you can see, its length doesn't extend at all. Always stays the same length. Let's see what 16 looks like. Yeah, it's a really good combination. D700 and 16 to 35. Nicely balanced, not too big going to be great for landscapes. Well that'll do for this video. Um, I'm going to go out in a minute, take some shots with it, do some landscapes, see what else I can do. And I'll probably post up another video then with some samples so you can see for yourself what this combination is like. So that's, that's that. Thanks very much.